If there ever was such a thing as a company that could do almost anything, well, Tenneke Properties is it. These guys know how to completely transform your existing home into something new or just do it room by room. That's Tenneke Properties. Visit Tenneke.com or phone 931-244-4602. From the Tennessee Valley Weather Channel, this is your evening update. We did have some sunshine earlier today that allowed temperatures to climb on up into the 40s and it begun the thawing process, the long awaited thawing process here across the Tennessee Valley that will be slow but steady the next couple days. But clouds are increasing late today as we head into the evening and rain back off to the west. A few showers will be moving in as we head into the overnight and rain chances only going up for here, from here as we head through the rest of the week. We got down to 23 degrees this morning near midnight, and then we got to 45 at the airport this morning here in Lawrenceburg. No rainfall today, but that will be changing in a big way as we head into the remainder of the week, especially Wednesday and Thursday. There may be some flooding concerns across the area. Our overnight lows are going to happen at a weird time compared to normal. They're going to happen during the evening hours, most likely, while we still have some pockets of holes in the cloud cover before it really thickens up. Drop down to the mid to upper 30s. Once we get past midnight, clouds thicken, and with a stronger southerly wind, we may rise back into the lower 40s as a few showers move in between midnight and daybreak across the area, and then just off and on periods of showers as we head through our Tuesday. Won't be an all day steady rain, but there will be a well, there will be rain around at times. There may also be a few breaks of sunshine here and there between the areas of rain. And if we do see a little sun, especially North Alabama, it could sneak up into the lower 60s. But I'm going to hedge more toward cloud cover based on what the cloud cover looks like to the west right now. So mid to upper 50s is my official forecast. Just don't be surprised if a few folks try to sneak up into the lower 60s if there is a little added sunshine. And then rain gathers off to the west by the evening that moves into the area during the overnight especially Wednesday and Thursday is the prime time for heavier rain and embedded thunderstorms we see this frontal boundary stall over the area and there may be a couple waves of low pressure right along it that brings some training rounds of thunderstorms across North Alabama southern middle Tennessee Wednesday Wednesday night and into Thursday even then it won't be an all-day non-stop rain but there may be multiple rounds of heavy rain and thunderstorms and that rain will add up with time and cause the potential, an increasing potential for some flooding and flash flooding across the area. The latest forecast from the National Weather Service's Weather Prediction Office shows a solid four to five inches of rainfall for this week over a large part of the area, especially North Alabama, but that seeps up into Southern Middle Tennessee as well. And once we work out the exact placement of that heavier rainfall band and the training thunderstorm, some of this could be expanded also farther up in the Southern Middle Tennessee. Highest confidence for right now is in Northwest Alabama. That's where the Weather Service has upgraded to a significant risk of excessive rainfall and possible flooding on Wednesday here for Northwest Alabama. That's the Red Shader region. It's still an elevated risk over Middle Tennessee though. And if we do get higher confidence in that heavier rain and the training, including Middle Tennessee, this red area could be expanded northward. But regardless of which color you're in, there's an elevated risk of flooding and flash flooding as we go Wednesday, Wednesday night into Thursday. So be aware of that as we head forward through the week. Temperatures on the uphill swing, 50s, mid to upper 50s for our Tuesday. A few folks making a run at lower 60s. Everybody in the 60s, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, maybe mid to upper 60s on our Thursday with the warmer air around. I still don't see instability for a severe storm threat. So we're not talking about damaging winds, not talking about tornadoes. As of how things look right now, I don't see any signal for that kind of stuff. Just training rounds of showers and thunderstorms and the potential for flooding. A little bit cooler over the weekend, but this is back to seasonable average. It's not anywhere near that cold Arctic air we've just recently had across the area. So here's your hourly forecast for tonight. Clouds increase, a few rain showers possible overnight. Getting down to the mid to upper 30s, and then we bounce back toward the lower 40s as we head closer to daybreak. And then generally mid to upper 50s across southern middle Tennessee, mostly cloudy to overcast for our Tuesday with off and on periods of showers across the area. 
upper 50s over northwest Alabama. However, a few folks may make a run at lower 60s. If there's a little bit of sun, you can add two or three degrees to all of these numbers across this area, but mostly cloudy to overcast with a few off and on periods of rain here for you Tuesday as well. And then rain chances and thunderstorm chances really increase for Wednesday, Wednesday night and Thursday. Again, I'm not talking a severe storm threat, so I'm not talking about damaging winds. I'm not talking about tornadoes. That's not why we have the red panels. The red, the red panels are for the flooding and the flash flooding threat Wednesday, Wednesday night and into Thursday. Lingering showers Friday into Saturday and then clearing weather as we head later into the weekend Sunday into early next week. There's look to latest seven day forecast. I'll be back at 9 o'clock for a final check of your local weather.